It's been a really long time since my last video, and I have no apologies for that. Um, the world has been insane uh, since my last video, and uh, my work was insane busy and is now crazy in a very different way for reasons that actually have nothing to do with uh, COVID or coronavirus um or anything going on current events um but i'm not at liberty to say a whole lot about that yet but um i'm in a very weird place right now and i guess that's okay because the world is also in a very weird place right now uh i don't know where we're going um i don't know if we're going somewhere better or somewhere worse or somewhere neither better nor worse but just a little bit make more chaotic um i i want to give words of reassurance um there's there's a lot of good things happening out there um a lot of it is chaotic and a lot of it is hard um but if you're upset right now, you have very legitimate reasons to be upset right now. If you're overwhelmed, if you're stressed, if you have negative spoons left every day, that's legitimate. Um, the quarantine was scary. The virus is scary. Living life as a black person is scary. Um, living life as an LGBTQIA person is scary. I can't imagine how scary it is living life as an LGBTQIA black person. Um, living life as anybody knowing that there's riots and protests going on is scary. Um, taking part in those riots and protests is scary. It's something that needs to happen. Um, I, I think the riots and the protests are a good thing. But if you are not able to take part in those, that's okay. Don't feel less of yourself for that. If you can't handle seeing what's going on in the current events right now, if that's just too much for you, that's okay. If you're able to handle it, and you're able to contribute towards improving things, or at least pointing out that things need to be improved, um, that's, that's amazing, that's awesome. Do what you can, don't do what you can't. Um, I, I don't exactly know what to say, so this is probably gonna be a short one. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm here for you. <laughs> whatever you can do, whatever you can't do, it's it's all good. Um, I have not been singing for a while because of the coronavirus stuff. I haven't had voice lessons um, in a good five or six months. Uh, because I was actually getting them at the church. And of course the church has been closed down because the church that I was going to is one that takes things seriously as they should uh, to protect their congregation, which is awesome. Um, but that means there's been no choir, there's been no voice lessons. Um, so I'm badly out of practice. I haven't really been practicing on my own much either because of everything else that's been going on. Um, I've definitely been running unlimited spoons these days. So I have a song. This is not super related to current events, but when I was a kid, uh, some friends of ours had this album that had a story with a bunch of songs in it. And it was, 
it was kind of an odd story. It was kind of like a space story, but then it had some kind of new agey themes and and the ultimate theme was hope and light. Uh, it was called Lumiere. Um, and it was narrated and the songs were sung by a woman. I did not know who she was. Um, her name was Chris Williamson, by the way. And for some reason, I just never bothered to investigate that further. Um, I've listened to the story and the songs a number of times over the decades. Uh, I had a cassette tape made off of that old record that's followed me from Washington State across the country, and I still have a cassette player. I'm an 80s kid. Um, so I still have it. I've still listened to it off and on over the years, and, and some of the songs stuck with me over time. Um, and it's dangerous to Google people that you remember from your childhood. But I went ahead and I Googled her. There might be somebody watching this who already knows who Chris Williamson is. I did not. Um, so I didn't know what I was going to find. And what I found was that she is a lesbian and an LGBTQIA activist. And an activist and supporter of so many things that are in line with the things I would like to support. Um, so that was awesome. Um, also found out that the song that I decided I was going to sing, uh, there was a cover um, done for it uh, not too many years ago um, during some other protests uh, over water rights for the, the uh, Aboriginal U.S. peoples. So, um, I guess that makes it more, a, a better pick even, um, that, that it does go along with, with some protests. Uh, I did not know any of that when I picked the song. Um, I picked the song and then I started Googling while I was looking for the lyrics and it, who is this person? that sang and wrote this song. I should, I should look them up. And uh, yeah, so good surprises on that front. Um, she is, Chris Williamson is still an active uh, singer, songwriter, and activist. Uh, you can find some of her stuff on YouTube. Um, she's got a website. It's, it's basically her name, Chris Williamson. Uh, no H, C-R-I-S, Williamson. Um, so yeah. She's, she's got some cool stuff. Uh, check her out if, if you've never heard of her before. Um, and uh, forgive me if I don't do great on this song. Like I said, I'm badly out of practice. Uh, but, yeah. <coughs> don't let the midnight oil burn low. No, don't let it burn out. Let's see how things turn out. In the end, don't let the midnight oil burn low. No, don't let it burn out. Let's see how things turn out. In the end. You know you need a friend, a friend to the end. I know you've heard it said before. In the end, you know it all comes down to love, down like water from above. That's what it's all about. Don't you think it's so? What else are we here for? Oh, I know I ain't here for war, but the war is here, and so are you and I. It makes me want to fly away, but something makes me stay. 
and try it anyway. Hey, you and I, keep the fires burning high. Don't let the midnight oil burn low. No, don't let it burn out. Let's see how things turn out in the end. Don't let the midnight oil burn low. No, don't let it burn out. Let's see how things turn out in the end. Not sure that was great, and my voice cracked on one note. But, um, yeah. I, I mean that. Um, I, I'm here as a friend to anyone who needs me. Uh, as always, feel free to, to say anything in the comments, um, to reach out by comment or by email. Um, I'll talk to anyone. I, I, I want to be here for anyone who needs it. Till next time.